Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about rocks. Well, what do rocks have to do with crop production, you may <laughs> say? If you've got them out in your field, they have a lot to do with it. When we travel around the country, there are some areas where the soils have lots of rocks that seem to keep sprouting up every year somehow, and there's other areas that really don't fight it. On our farm, we're pretty fortunate. We don't have very many areas at all that are rocky to even speak of, but I've certainly traveled to some areas where there are great big rocks all over the place, and it's an issue every year for farmers, where they're out picking up rocks, trying to get them out of the field as much as they can or they're trying to do something to manage the rocks that are there. The big thing is this really damages equipment when farmers run rocks through their combine, when they hit it with their planter, when they hit it with their tillage equipment. It can be a problem that way. So that's the main reason why farmers want to get rid of those rocks. But what a lot of farmers have done now, rather than going out and continuing to pick these rocks up, is they're just smashing them down into the soil. So land rollers have become pretty popular in a lot of rockier areas. What farmers will do is they will plant their crop, like soybeans for example, and then they will go and roll that ground. They push the rocks down. So then when they are harvesting the soybeans and they have to run the soybean head, the combine head, down on the ground, they aren't picking up a bunch of rocks and ruining the combine. In the case of corn, a lot of farmers will roll the ground first, then plant the corn because they don't have to run the corn head down as low as they have to run the soybean head. But either way, they're smashing those rocks down into the ground, so hopefully they cause fewer problems with the equipment later in the year. All right, now you're talking about small rocks, Brian. Let's talk about great big rocks, because every once in a while, you'll find one out in your field. Maybe it's when you're doing some drainage tile work, or who knows what, but you'll catch onto a rock and realize this rock is the size of my tractor. What do I do with this great big rock? So we do get questions from time to time from guys who happen to hit one of those big rocks out in their field. They say, what should I do? Should I dig it up or should I just leave it there? Now, once you dig one of those rocks up, what the tendency is is to try and fill that area back in with soil. But now you've got soft soil in a big deep hole and you often end up with a sinkhole out in that spot. For farmers who are doing drainage tile, for example, they don't want to run drainage tile through where they just dug a rock out because there's probably going to be a spot that sinks in their drainage tile and it's not going to drain anymore. Uh, other farmers may say, you know what, I'm going to get that great big rock because I could sell it to somebody in town who might want to put it out in their front yard for a decoration. So you just have to look at what the operation that farmer's doing is and digging out a great big rock like that may be a lot of work, but if you can sell it, uh, you might make some money doing it. However, most farmers would just probably leave the rock. Well, there. Darren, you stole my thunder. That was the very next thing I was going to talk about because in certain areas, especially near big towns, there are a lot of landscapers that really want rocks. There are a lot of homeowners Owners, they want some rocks around their place and if you have a rock pile on your farm and you're near that town you can sometimes sell your rocks for some money so that's awesome unfortunately it doesn't always work that way and when the home economy kind of tanked in 2008 that really did hurt some farmers bottom lines because they couldn't sell their rocks for the same price they used to be able to well it's interesting as you travel across the country there are different soils some have virtually no rocks in them in the top few feet others have lots of rocks farmers will manage them in a number of of different ways. They'll either try to pick the rocks up and get them out of the field or they'll use something like a land roller to just push those rocks down in the soil so they can minimize any damage to equipment. Well managing rocks is an important thing if you're going to run a successful farm but another thing that's important is controlling our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 